This file processing chapter is enhancement of input and output operations chapter. In the input and output operations, it covers the input activities using keyboard while output operation covers the output printed on the screen. So, now this chapter covers the file operations that are input the data by reading from a file. Then, the output is produced in a file which is permanently available. The expected outcomes of this chapter are First, student able to comprehend the file's input and output operations. And second, student able to use and manipulate file operations based on the requirement for a specific problem. In overall, this chapter will cover File declaration, create and open operations. Read data from input file. Write data to output file. And finally close the file. Now, we discuss about the general concept of file processing. By understanding this concept, student may visualize the overall idea about file processing and learning processes for the following file operations will be more faster. We start with simple generic computer program. First, read the data from a file. Then, do a processing to sum of two values, write the output in a file and finally, close the files. Let's discuss this in more details. Read the data from a file. But for that, we assumed the input file with data is available and ready for the read processing. The file contains two values of 65 and 75. Since the read instruction for two variables, num1 and num2, the values in file were assigned to num1 for the value of 65 and 75 for the num2. So, now, Num1 stores the value of 65 and Num2 stores the value of 75. Now the program moves to processing part. The formula of sum is equal to Num1 plus Num2. The processing will produce the value of sum equals 140. The last part of the program is write the output in the file. We assume the text file of output is available, open and ready for writing process. By the write instruction, the value of sum will be wrote in the file output. So, now the file output available in storage and contain the value of 140. The last part, both files must be closed to complete the file processing of the file. Conceptually, above discussion represents the reading data process from input file and writing value into output file. For the both operations, both file must be opened and available. The final operation is close the file. More information about file processing which is related to C programming are. In C programming, file is used to store information permanently on a hard disk. The data in file still hold the information even the computer is off. C programming provides a set of library function for creating and processing information stored in data files. Files created can be read by any text mode editor such as Notepad. Based on the conceptual discussion previously, there are four basic operations in file processing. Create the file and open it for the following operations. The operations either for reading the data from the file or to write some data on that file. Finally, the file must be closed. In other words, either the operation is to read or to write, the file must be open and must be closed to complete the file processing. Now, we will learn about the create and open operations for a file. The learning processes is developed by referring to a simple example. At the end, students will introduce the syntax of creating and open a file for C programming. We start with the example. First, the header file. In C programming, some of the functions of file processing are available in Studio. H header file. Students may use any header file when necessary. Second, the file declaration. In C programming, reserved word file represents the file declaration. The first argument is a pointer identifier indicated by the asterisk asterisk that positioned at the beginning of the file. Then, the fopen function. 
fopen function is used to open a file and associates an IO stream with it. This function takes two arguments file name and operation type. File name. This is the actual file name that exists in the storage. The file is available in the same directory as set up for the code or developer may specify the directory of file in more specific directory. Access type. This access type represents the actual operation in the file either for read operation or write operation. This table show the access type in its operation description. At this point, we only cover six access types. R4 opens file for reading. W4 opens a new file for writing. Create a 4 opens file for appending. Adding to it, R plus 4 opens file for update. Read and write, W plus 4 open a new file for reading and writing. A plus 4 opens file for update. Read the entire file, or write to the end of it. So, from the explanation, the syntax for create and open files are. This subchapter is about close file operation. The file must be closed when completing the process. Normally, file will be closed at the end of the program. Sometimes, the file is needed to be closed when the operation is changed from write to read or otherwise. We use similar example as previous subchapter. fclose function. The fclose function is used to close a file. This function takes one argument which is file identifier. Next is the file identifier. The identifier that being opened and used in the program. So, from the explanation, the syntax for a close operation is.